The year is 1965. Corn farmers are using combines that harvest two to four rows at a time. The largest row crop tractor on the market? Just 105 horsepower. And the average corn yield in the U.S. is only 74 bushels per acre. During that same year, the National Corn Growers Association launched the National Corn Yield Contest. Farmers from four states, Indiana, Iowa, Illinois, and Ohio signed up with 20 entries. The winning yield was 219 bushels per acre. It was an auspicious start to a program that would help set new standards on what's possible from an acre of corn. 50 years later, corn farmers harvest hundreds of acres a day with combines equipped with 16 row or larger corn heads, while the national average corn yield has reached a record 171 bushels per acre. And the National Corn Yield Contest? It's going stronger than ever with over 8,100 entries in 2014. So it seems only appropriate that in the same year the contest is celebrating a half century of success, it's also celebrating a new world yield record of more than 500 bushels per acre, the first time anyone in the contest has reached such a lofty level. To top it off, six national finalists surpassed the 400 plus bushel mark. As the 2014 growing season unfolded, Brooks County, Georgia farmer Randy Dowdy knew there was something special going on in the contest field that produced the world record of nearly 504 bushels per acre in the irrigated class. Relatively new to the National Corn Yield Contest, Dowdy entered for the first time in 2010. He's been an astute student ever since, winning numerous state and national titles. Uh, the people that uh, participate in the contest supposedly are the best growers in the country. I do realize there's probably some growers that don't enter the contest, but for those that do, I mean, it, there's some very high yields. And the first year I met people like Dave Hula, Stephen Albrock, and mem members of you know the NCGA committee. And it's a very exciting contest. Uh, I enjoy the competition side of it. Uh, I'm very competitive within and it, it, it raises it to a new level. When you meet people in the state that you didn't know that you do compete in and then you meet people around the country that uh, now are on the national stage as winners. Okay. Well that first year, I mean I really didn't learn a lot um, other than weather trumps all, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I really was doing things that the university had taught us and what the industry standard was in our area. Uh, after I went to the Commodity Classic in Tampa the first year, I was challenged by, by many, you know, vendors and um, the industry as well as you know, fellow competitors to, to try things new. I mean, when I started doing that, you know, that's when the light bulb started going off. I, I started realizing things that we could do differently to increase yields. Thinking differently and learning from other corn growers define the National Corn Yield Contest. It encourages participants to test new production practices and innovative ideas on their contest acres before applying them to all their corn acres. For growers like Dowdy, the contest provides invaluable insights no matter what the year. Uh, you know, 2013 was exciting. It was, it was a year of definitely having the right hybrid on the right acre. Uh, not all hybrids are created equal. And we had hybrids go as high as 417 bushels. And, you know, hybrids right next to it that had won in previous years that, you know, basically were a failure. Um, what a difference a year makes. Uh, weather trumps all. I mean, we had real rainy, rainy, wet season. And really, quite frankly, I felt like I had 300 bushel corn, but I certainly didn't think I had 400 with the conditions that we went through. So it just shows that perseverance, hard work, good Lord giving you some favor, that uh, high yields can still be made with a little adversity. Missouri farmer Lance Neff knows all about adversity. Weather is a constant battle on Broken Arrow Farms he operates with his wife, Melissa. Our biggest challenge here on dry land is obviously the weather. We're at the mercy of rain or mother nature to get rain. So. We try to set ourselves up with a, uh, uh, all the proper fertility, different things to achieve our high yielding goals with our corn 
so that way whenever it does rain, we're set up to get the most out of our yield. A severe drought gripped North Central Missouri in 2012, Neff's first year entering the National Corn Yield Contest. But that didn't discourage him. Uh, we ended up entering again in 2013, applied some of the same things that we did in 12, uh, ended up getting some rainfall, uh, had some outstanding yield, ended up winning our state with the yield, I think it was 318 bushel an acre, so that was pretty good on dry land corn. It was a challenge to ourselves then at that point to stay involved with it, to see how high we could achieve our yield goals, plus take what we learned from those contest acres and apply it to the rest of our, our farming operation. So, in 2014, Neff won the AA non-irrigated class with a yield of nearly 363 bushels per acre. He credits the National Corn Yield Contest for helping him continue to push his yields to new levels. We, we enjoy the NCGA to, to get to go to the Commodity Classic and learn from all the other producers and what they're doing so that way maybe we can take what some of the stuff we're not doing that they're doing, we can uh, improve ourselves because we for sure don't know everything what we're doing. We just uh, take what we've learned and apply it and try to visit and join in with others that's getting the high yields and uh, using some of their practices and you know we share ours too so you know hopefully something we do will help them and some of the stuff they do sure helps us. Like Neff, Randy Dowdy finds tremendous value sharing ideas with other corn farmers. Well, the contest has been very important just simply because of the fact you got some of the best growers in the country. Uh, we were able to sit around at dinner in a relaxed environment. We become friends, and that conversation continues throughout the year. We're able to surround our people with smart, surround ourselves with smarter people than us around us, and quite often, you know, that's the key. You pick up something good from it and the contest helps bring all that together. For 50 years the National Corn Grower Association's National Corn Yield Contest has been bringing together growers from across the nation to share ideas in order to advance corn production to new levels. You can bet the National Corn Yield Contest will continue to challenge corn growers to use innovative ideas and production practices to push corn yields to ever higher horizons over the next 50 years.